Good morning. Thanks for joining me. Day 18 of Noah's bike build. Lean Mechanism 2. <laughs> Lean Mechanism 2. Is this the definitive lean mechanism for the simulator? Who knows? Early days. This is just a concept video inviting you to join me in understanding the issues of the early concept. Lean mechanism one, a single pneumatic cylinder mounted diagonally down to a wooden frame. That didn't work. Time for further ideas, more thinking. So, what is Lean Mechanism 2? It's based on two short rear suspension units. from one of these mini moto motocross bikes. Now, the monoshock bikes have heavy springs, too heavy to compress with my design of Noah's mini bike. So, Two shockers ordered, two shockers arrived, very heavy springs, never going to work, but the units themselves had super possibilities. One small issue, they sent me two different length units. Between the eyes, the top and bottom mounting bolt, they're the same, but the actual bottom part of the unit is different lengths and had different spring lengths, but who knows, it may give me two opportunities to consider options so I'm pursuing I'm pursuing this until it works or doesn't work and then I'll I'll arrive at an answer is it a finished solution no it's right at the early concept stage and that's what I wanted to share. I wanted to share the wrestling match that is design and concept of the build. If I was to wait until it was a finished product then I would never strip 
and make videos of how I built it. I'd rather show as I go along and if it fails, it fails in one area. I know through various projects and my life in general, some days things work great, other days everything goes wrong. So you work through that. Enough of the rambling on. Let's have a look at the bike on the worktop with these two shockers mounted to the wooden framework and lent at angles suitable so that the shockers would expand and contract when the bike lent over. I was going to demonstrate the issues. Imagine the bike rear wheel mounted within the wooden frame and touching in this case the worktop but in practice it would be the ground, the floor, whatever surface the sim is placed on. This wooden frame is to control the stability so that this whole assembly can never tip over. There's quite a bit of weight involved and I don't want it to ever be at a point where the leverage of somebody standing on the footrests or high up could overbalance. So that's why, to start with, it's got a wide footprint. Back to the design. You notice the gap between these elements of the wood. It's wider than the wheel because it is just evolving. Let's see it move leaning to the left going upright and then leaning to the right. What we're watching for is this cylinder and this cylinder which are crudely constrained with tie wraps for now just to ascertain what position of the stroke works best to attain these lean angles. Now we're not talking about MotoGP lean angles of elbows touching the floor. We're just talking about a youngster enjoying a race sim and leaning from side to side slightly. So, without further ado, let's just see the bike move from side to side and appreciate the issues and how this design needs to evolve. I'm going to, at present, it's leaning on the right hand side because the exhaust is touching part of the woodwork. So I'll straighten the bike up, move the wood frame slightly to the right and then we'll see it lean left and right. So standing it up, moving the frame slightly,
vertical left vertical and right we start to see the issues about the stroke on each side and how they constrain We don't want it to lean and lean and lean and lean. We want the shockers to actually constrain the movement. Thanks for watching. Join me again soon when the internal and external spring selection arrive and I can do further testing. Catch you later.